Hello. Okay. Last class, we have discussed Gram Smith orthogonalization procedure. And we have started solving one numerical one problem. This is the problem we have started to solve. And we have completed up to this in the last class. That means we have found out first basis function phi 1 t. Today we are going to find out the remaining basis functions of this particular numerical. Now, second basis function. What is the process to find out the second basis function that we have discussed last day? Some steps we have discussed. This is the step, step one and step two, this one are the steps to find out the remaining basis functions. So, we are trying to find out the second basis function. Second basis function, I2. Okay. Whenever I equals to 2. In the previous case, I equals to 1. Now, I equals to 2. So, for that, we have to use some, we have to use two steps. Some steps are there. The first step, suppose, is that this one this is the formula okay this formula is nothing but this one this formula then whatever we will get this one we will put that value here then we will use this one after that from the value of gi we will calculate phi i. That means for this case phi 2. So now this is the equation, first equation, where i equals to 2 and j equals to 1. 0 to t. x i phi j. So x2 phi 1 dt. So x2. What is the, that is the 0 to t x2. That is your this one x2 that is your one okay so x2 that is one phi one phi one amplitude is root of three by t root of three by t integration over zero to t by three why t by three because it depends on x2 function x2 function is in between 0 to sorry once again okay sorry actually <clears throat> this phi 1 this phi 1 depends upon 0 to t by 3 okay so in the range of 0 to t by 3 this phi 1 value is this one that i put here okay and 0 to t by 3 x2 value also 1 0 to t by 3 somewhere here because this is 2 t by 3 so somewhere here it will be t by 3 so 0 to t by 3 x2 value also 1 that is why this one is coming and this value is coming. Integration, we will get this one. Actually, these are two are the x2 and phi 1. From here, you can write down these values from these diagrams. And integration, we will get this one. This limit 0 to t by 3 depends on this phi don't get confused 
this limit depends on the limit of phi 1. Okay, so now this is the value of x21. Now, what about gi, that intermediate function? That is the expression i value is 2, so g2, x2, x2j, phi j, then j equals to 1, this i minus 1, so 2 minus 1, j equals to 1, 2, 1, so only one value, x of, just I am putting the value of j equals to 1 here, j equals to 1 here, so finally we have this one. Now just remember this equation now. Okay. So where you have x of 2, 1, phi of 1. And here x 2, t. Okay. This is your x of 2, 1. This is your phi 1. x of 2, 1, phi 1. This 2. x of 2, 1 means We got this value x of 2 1 value is the root of t by 3. x of 2 1 is root of t by 3. Phi 1 value is this one. Phi 1 value here it is. Phi 1 value is root of this. This 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 is this vector phi 1. This is the phi 1. From this 2 x of 2 1 multiplied by phi t. Phi one t. This this one. X of two one phi one t. Multiplying this two. What we will have? We will have zero to t by three. Multiply this one and this one. That is nothing but your one and zero to t by three. x2 it is given in the numerical this product just we got it this one this minus this that means this waveform minus this waveform very interesting i think it's clear once again i am telling you we have to find out this one that is this one why you have to find out this one from this expression. Again, we have another expression. From this, we am, if I am putting the value of i and j, we will get this expression. x21 is there. x21 is here. Just put this value. phi1 t is there. phi1 t value is this one. Just to put this value there. That is product of x21 and, x, and phi1 t is nothing but 1. Because this value and this value, nothing but 1. So this value now it is 1, this value. x2t, we know this one. And this product in the form of waveform is, looks like, Product of this two, product of this two is this one. X two t is this one. Subtract. Now see zero to two t by three. Here it is zero to t by three. That means somewhere here two t by three is present. Oh, sorry, uh, not here. Actually. Somewhere here two t by three is present. So if I am subtracting this portion minus this portion, we will have zero. Then t by three to two t by three. If I am subtracting, we will have one. Just just to follow these waveforms. Just it's very thick, simple thing. Just to follow the waveform and the x-axis. On my x-axis, this signal looks like what actually. This is your 2t by 3, 2t by 3, and somewhere here, next signal, 
which is here t by 3 t by 3 so if i'm subtracting from this to this so this minus this will be zero and this is this minus zero will be this one this one Actually, this amplitude is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 minus 0 it is 1. And 1 minus 0, that means 1 minus 0, it is 1 in the range of t by 3 to 2t two by 3. So t by 3 to 2t two by 3, we have some waveform as 1, as amplitude 1. Now that is your g2t after this subtraction. subtraction. This is your g2t. I think it is clear from this waveform. Now, if I am getting the value of G2, calculate the energy of that. Okay. In the range of this two range, this two range, G2 value is 1. Intricate will get this one. And this value now, this is the next equation we have already. We know this one. Next, we write down this one G2 and in root of integration part, that means root of t by 3 actually. So just to put this value here. That means what? Don't get confused what I'm doing. Just this value I'm putting here at, uh, in the denominator. Numerator is as it is. So G2 is here and it is here. So phi 2 is actually now in the range of this that means in the range of g2 is having amplitude of root of 3 by t that is your phi t that means this is the second basis function this is the second basis function very important very important process that we are going to follow okay that means what actually we are doing Summarize. I am saying some summary. What we are doing? We are just following some steps, and those steps are this one, this one, and definitely this one. These two steps that we are following, and some subtraction of one waveform from another. This is some product of two waveforms and this is some subtraction and we are getting this one as g2 then that g2 we are using in this equation that's all very simple thing that we are doing now the next that is your phi 2 and now now it will be your phi 3 third basis function very interesting third basis function phi 3 that is i equals to 3 so first i3 that is uh, g3 x3t here it will be x3j here it will be phi j and i have written this one then j equals to 1 to i minus 1 i minus 1 means 3 minus 1 that is 2 so j j equals to 1 to 2 so now this value will be written as this summation of these two by adding the value of j by adding the value of j small j so we have this one we have this one okay now separately we have to find out this value and this value that's all so first our target is to find out this value x31 x31 some equation is there that but that is already mentioned in the previous pages x3 uh, sorry x31 integration x3 t that is given in the numeric uh, in the question this one and phi 1 t phi 1 t is this one okay now multiply integration Now see, if I'm multiplying this, two, what do we get? 
zero to t by three. Zero to t by three. It is zero. It is one. It will be zero. Okay. T by three to t. T by three to this side t. Also zero. That means what actually? Actually, here no amplitude. That means this is this portion is zero, but this portion is one. Here, t by three somewhere here, and t somewhere here. Zero to t, zero to t, t by three here, t by three here. Now, if I'm multiplying these two waveforms, so zero to t by three, the amplitude value is one. Zero to t by three, the amplitude value is sorry, sorry, sorry. Zero to t by three. Zero to t by three, the amplitude is zero. Zero to t by three, amplitude value is root of three by t. If I am multiplying these two, we'll have zero. Similarly, t by three to t, having one amplitude. T by three to somewhere here t. Having zero amplitude, so multiplying will have zero. So finally, we will have zero. So this term will be your zero. So definitely, the whole thing will be your zero. Next, just we are what we are doing. We are just multiplying the waveforms, or subtracting one waveform from another. That is the thing. Here you see x is three two three two x three two. Well, we, are, we have to uh, find out this x. So, what is the formula? Uh, what is the expression for this? This is the expression. X three t. X three t is given in the unit. Achha. And phi two. Phi two we have find. We just uh, found this value in the previous page. So this value. Phi two value is actually this one. In the range of t by three to to t by three, t by three to two t by three, amplitude value is this one. Amplitude value is this one. In the same range, what about x three t? In the same range, what about x three t? Nothing but one because you can see t by three, t by three, two t by three. So. Actually, this 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 is uh, this one is somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. Or more than this actually. The, uh, actually, this one. T by three. T by three. This is your T. T means. This point is more than this point because t is somewhere here. So in this range, phi two value is this. In this range only, x three value is one. That I have written here one. Nothing else. That is one. Multiply these two. We we'll integrate. We will have this one. So remember that this range depends on phi two. This is function. Very minutely, we have to follow the waveforms. That is the important thing. Very minutely, we have to follow the waveforms. Okay. So in that way, what we got? We got x three two x three two. That value is this one. Now, what about g three t? G three is the this one. This one. From here, I am writing. This value is zero. This value is this one. And if I am multiplying these two things, that means phi two and x three two, phi two and x three two. This one. If I'm multiplying, we will have the value one. Is it? This product value is one because x three two means this one, and phi two means this one. So we have value one.
So that is one. That is your now G3 from this expression. X3T given in the numerical minus one. X3 is here. X3 is here. Minus one. Minus one. That is your G3T. Okay. X3T is actually, if I am writing in this way, zero to T in between t by 3 to t by 3 is there okay so x 3 t x 3 t which is having value in between t by 3 to t t by 3 to t in this range that is the x 3 t so t by 3 to t t by 3 to t now, the whole thing, this one, x3, minus 1, that is your g3t, okay? <clears throat> that means, at this point, there is 2t by 3, very clearly understood. At this point, there is 2t by 3. Okay. Beyond this value, that means this range and this range, if I'm subtracting, it will be 0. And this range minus this range will be 1. Is it? Finally, what we will have if I am subtracting, if I am subtracting this minus 1, we will have, we are not writing anything, just in this way only. So, G3T is this kind of some, some expression. Now, what about this? What about phi 3? Phi 3 means G3T divided by integration in this range because this is your now G3T integration in this range and which is having amplitude 1. This is the 1. Just if I am putting this value, I am getting this one, this expression which is having this range only, same range, G3 range and the final phi 3 range will be same. In the last case also we have same, we have seen same, same concept that the range of G2 is same as the phi 2. Here also the range of phi 3, same as the G3 range. Okay. Similarly, similar, similarly, fourth basis function what about fourth basis function fourth basis function means i4 okay g4 x4 summation of this one the expression i'm writing the expression only and adding of all you will have this one okay now i am not doing all the things okay just i'm uh, x41 that means x41 first you have to find out x42 x42 is there x43 x43 is there just using the formula you can find it out that x41 is this one, x42 is this one, x43 is this one. And putting all these values in this equation, then g4t is equals to x4t minus phi1, phi2, phi3 in the bracket multiplied by root of t by 3. That is the thing we have written here. this one okay now what about phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 that is your root of 3 by t
that is your root of 3 by t. If I'm adding all these 5, 1, 5, 2, and 5, 3, what will get? This one, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 3, here it is. Uh, 5, 3 is here. 5, 1, 5, 2, and 5, 3. 0 to t by 3, t by 3 to 2, t by 3, 2, t by 3 to t, t, t. That means if I'm adding this one, this one, and this one, we will have root of 3 by t. That root of 3 by t is multiplied by root of t by 3, which will give you 1. This product. And x40, x40 means what? x40 means it is 1. Why? x40 means it is 1 see 0 to t amplitude is 1 so this is also 1 1 minus 1 it will be 0 so we can say that g40 is 0 so definitely 540 is 0 that means there is no fourth basis function important conclusion there is no fourth basis function that means three basis functions are only required to represent four message signals which are given in the numerator. That means n value is 3 and m value is 4. So always this is less than or equal to m. Okay. So this is the numerical that you have to just you have to once you go through okay then it, it will be easy much more easier to you. i have written the same thing the third basis function fourth basis function okay then what what about the signals in terms of basis function so x1 will be your this one x2 will be your phi1 phi2 multiplied by these two things okay actually how i am writing this one now let's go to the first one. Okay, this one. Okay, we have this expression. This is equals to this. So what about x1, t? What about x1 in terms of this? Nothing but root of t by 3 multiplied by phi 1 t that I have written here only. This one x2 will depend on two basis function x3 depend on two and three okay x2 depends on phi 1 and phi 2 all this concept is coming from x2 listen x2 depends on what phi 1 and phi 2 now what is actually x2 and what is actually Phi 1 and phi, that's all that you have to see. X2 is x2 is in the range of this is x2 in the range of 2 t by 3. 0 to 2 t by 3. In this range, which basis functions are coming? 0 to 2 t by 3. See. Zero to two t by three. In this range, phi one is coming and phi two is coming. That means x two depends on phi one and phi two. Okay. Similarly, what about x three? So first, you will see the expression of x three. Uh, equation of x3 x3 is this one that is t by 3 to t so we will have to see what basis functions are in this range t by 3 to t this one and this one that means x3 depends on phi 2 and phi 3 x2 x3 depends on phi 2 and phi 3 
that means what we have to see actually actually we have to see that the range of x2 and in that range what basis functions are coming then we can conclude that x2 depends on those basis functions similarly similarly the rate we have to find out or we have to see in the numerical that the range of x3 and in that range which basis functions are coming we can see that in the range of x3 phi 2 and phi 3 these two basis functions are coming so x3 signal depends on these two basis functions Similarly, x4, what is the range of x4? Final thing, what is the range of x4? Range of x4 means, in the, in the numerical you see, range of x4, x4 means 0 to t, 0 to t, and phi1, phi2, phi3, that also in the range of 0 to t, because 0 to t by 3, phi1, phi2 t by 3 to 2 t by 3 phi 3 to t by 3 to t so 0 to t in that range all three basis functions are common that means x4 x4 depends on all these three basis functions x4 depends on all these three basis functions okay now today i am going to stop next class we will continue Hello?